Hi, I am Michael, the Ukrainian Bitcoiner. This is my true story. Then the war began. Russia started targeting energy infrastructure hard. Very soon electricity became rational. Whole neighborhoods went dark. There was no heat, no internet, no hot water, but Bitcoin kept working. My personal Bitcoin node was running on a strict power schedule, but the rest of nodes, thousands of them all around the world, they never stopped. They didn't even blink. That's then I realized something powerful. Bitcoin doesn't rely on your government or your internet provider. It's not like your bank. It doesn't go down when your country does. Bitcoin is global. It runs 24 by 7. Even then your power is out. Even in war. Let me explain how this is possible. Bitcoin doesn't depend on a company or server. It's a decentralized network with thousands of nodes around the world. Even if Ukraine goes dark or even if the US shuts down internet access, Bitcoin keeps going because it lives everywhere at once. But what if you lose access to the internet? Can you still use Bitcoin? Actually, yes. There are multiple ways to send Bitcoin without the internet. Let me give you a few real examples. You can prepare an offline PSBT. That's the partially signed Bitcoin transaction. You sign it on an air gap device, like a cold card. Then you transfer the transaction via micro SD card, QR code, or even a mesh network. Another person who does have internet can broadcast it for you. In fact, I tested this. During blackouts, practice it, preparing offline transaction, signing them securely and handing them to someone who could upload them. That's resilience. Here is the deeper lesson. Bitcoin doesn't need permission. It doesn't ask for uptime. It doesn't stop when your bank shuts down. It doesn't care if you're in Ukraine, the US, Africa or Antarctica. Even in war, even in chaos, Bitcoin remains unstoppable. Compare that to your bank. During the war, my bank app often stopped working. Bank transfers there delayed. Cash was hard to get. But with Bitcoin, I could still send money globally, fast and without middlemen. And this isn't just about war. In Texas, Canada, South Africa, blackouts happen. Power grids fail, governments censor. The internet goes down, but Bitcoin doesn't. Because Bitcoin isn't just a currency. It's an independent system. No CEO, no government, no kill switch. If you are new to Bitcoin, take this seriously. 
learn how PSBTs work. Set up an air-gapped wallet, like a cold card. Practice offline, offline transaction before you need them. Know how to broadcast a signed transaction via another device. Then you do that. You don't just own Bitcoin. You understand what makes it so different. It's not just a number that goes up. It's a tool for survival. Bitcoin doesn't stop even then your world does. Thank you for watching. Kindly support the channel. Smash the like button, hit subscribe, leave a comment and share. Tomorrow is my new true story from the war zone. Stay safe. Bye-bye.